How you doing, Manginas? Angry Toddler here, bringing you guys TDM on Interchange. And really big news that I just read, that Robert Bowling has retired, or resigned, not really retired, he's resigned from um, Infinity Ward as their lead developer, creative developer. So that's weird. He announced it on his Twitter, and I've been reading through articles, haven't found any reason of why he has, which I'm sure there'll be a reason out in a couple next days. But... It's just kind of random timing to me. And then Infinity Ward put out a statement saying, like, we're thinking Robert Bowling for his services and um, wishing him the best of luck in his future, basically. So it doesn't sound like um, Infinity Ward, like, fired him or anything. Or, like, you know in sports, when there's a coach, they lot, like, when there's an old-time coach, they usually like to let him go out on his own terms, resign rather than just firing him to make him look bad, you know? And, uh... So it could be one of those situations because Robert Bowling, as far as I know, has been working with them for a while, Infinity Ward. And but it's just kind of weird how Infinity Ward and like Activision had problems last year, and that's why they brought in Sledgehammer this year. And I know that's why there weren't very many updates from Modern Warfare 2 fixing the stuff. Because people in the industry were either like losing their jobs or there's just a lot of weird shit happening. So there's already been a lot of changes from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 just from like inside their company. Um, but my main question is, what do you guys think this is going to mean for um, Call of Duty and Infinity Ward and even Treyarch? Do you think this affects Treyarch at all? Um, like to me, if, if a lead developer resigns for a company and it's not like they're not successful, it's not like this game was a flop. Yeah, I don't like it as much. The Call of Duty Elite should have been a lot cheaper and should not should have offered more stuff in my opinion. Um, but it's not, I mean, they obviously sold millions and millions of copies, so not like they were losing money at all, uh, and it's not like they weren't successful, so it's just kind of weird, it just kind of seems fishy to me that he would resign at this time, and it makes me think that Treyarch is more of a, uh, stable company compared to Infinity War, just because, from what I know, it doesn't sound like they've had as many problems internally, and their game has been, in my, in my opinion more um organized as in there's not as much shenanigans happening it's not as chaotic it's more they know what their kind of theme of gaming is which i kind of like that's why i like black ops more and do you think this means do you think call of duty will kind of be like you know what we're just gonna stick with one company that makes our games treyarch rather than switching it off every year you know um i think the reason they do that too is to try to get from different gamers because obviously black ops world at war are different from all the modern warfares so it kind of brings different type of gamers to the company and they sell millions so and I don't think whoever they use will um, they'll be successful forever I think Call of Duty I don't think there will be a COD killer like people are like Battlefield's better yeah that's why I buy bo bo both games you know Halo is cool too that's why I buy that one as well so um, but the real the real thing is that we kind of use Robert Bowling as an, a scapegoat because and that mentioned, it mentions that in the article too, which I'll link uh, below this video. Go check that out. There's really not a whole lot of information that I actually haven't already told you. And right here, I think I was just playing or whacking with myself, my other third joystick, uh, because I don't know actually what I was doing. Maybe getting a beer? I don't know. Just taking a little nap really quick. But yeah, so we just kind of use him as a scapegoat because he's the only name that we know besides Infinity Ward. Like, it's like, oh, Robert Bowling, that's your fault that um, this is in the game. And I'm sure maybe some of it he kind of overlooked or uh, was actually his fault. But I want to say all of it really was. Um, I just think that he was a big name. It's just like blaming a quarterback for a team not being successful. He's just the biggest name and has the biggest responsibility, so we just assume it's all his fault. And I know there's some statements. I even saw a video the other day of him saying, oh, second chance is gone, and the crowd is like reacting like, yay, and it's really not gone. They just called it last, they, they called it something else, and it's a death streak. So it technically is still in the game, just has an asterisk. So yeah, they've obviously made some mistakes, and Fanny Ward, and I'm sure Robert Bowling, but there has to be something behind this. And then I also think that... um. The next game, I mean, obviously, uh, Treyarch's going to do the next Call of Duty, but the one after that, I think it's going to be a lot different compared to Mono for 3. Like, I'm, I'm assuming they're still have most of the same developers and most of the same internal team, but I think it's going to have a different kind of view because Robert Bowling was the creative, like, the head creative guy, so he had the most control out of anybody in that type of, in that spot, like, you know, in his, like, team that worked on this uh, game. 
So it obviously is going to have a different look. Uh, I'd like to see if they're going to actually bring in somebody completely different from actually another video game. I could see them bringing in another creative designer. And watch this play right here. I was fucked. I'm so glad I didn't call that in and get owned. And he about killed me too. Oh, I, speaking of second chance, I would have freaking flipped and shat myself. But I'd like to see if they're going to actually like upgrade somebody. If they're going to bring somebody to be their lead creative design that's already on their team in um, Infinity Ward. Or if they're going to go out and from another video game and kind of recruit. So it's just something kind of interesting. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is going to be changes? What are your reactions to Robert Bowling randomly resigning um, and using social network as, as his tool? And it's just really weird news, and I had to get it to you guys right away. I, figured, I feel like it's something that is kind of big in the gaming world. So uh, you heard it from me first. Hell yeah. That's what I'm saying, yo. As I'm playing his video game and just uh, raping shit with the AC-130. And even though this map kind of sucks for it because there's always those fucking interstates in the way. God. But whatever. I still pwn sauce, man. Even though Black Ops is my game, I still pwn sauce in this game. Um, I think actually my score is 28-3. and three. I just put up another video just like a little bit ago, a few hours ago. So go check that out. I'll put a link. I'll put it like a little thing. Like go to my last video, look at it. Alright. So how about this? Stay hairy, manginas.